Hi, this is Edith Nabla from Passion 47, and thank you for joining me in the step-by-step -step guide on how to create augmented reality with Unity and Vuforia. So this is the scene that we're actually going to put together in Unity. I'm going to show you how to go from start to finish in setting up your augmented reality scenes and some tips and tricks you should watch out for along the way. So if we come here, this is the image I uploaded, and as you can see, we have a five-star rating with are augmentable and what does that mean so what that means is is what's the probability that we'll be able to actually track this image and right now we have a full five star rating so we know for sure this is going to work if we have you know decent lighting setting if I click on this uh, show features now we reload and this is what before is really seeing before is seeing a grayscale image of our image and it adds these special tracking markers I have really just three pieces in, in here I have the wood I have rock a and then I have um, our first rock which was just regular rock and then in here I have a reps folder I'll just maximize that so I have a reps folder which is just sure for replicators and all in here is just our reps so what I like to do is let's say I do have a modification I can select one of these. Let's say we select um, Rock A. If I grab this and I make modifications, I'm just using the um, the bevel, and I pull this up. As you can see, all of the instances of Rock A change. So that's one of the great benefits of using a replicator. The other benefit is, is I can do my set dressing and kind of get an idea for what this can look like in Unity. If I hit F8 real quick, um, this is another favorite tool of mine in Moto. This is a great preview render that is really awesome for checking out, you know, just the subtle details, like how in here we're not using black because black isn't isn't a isn't a shade in nature. And so whenever you see these shadows, a really nice way to make a nice fluid and a nice uh, inviting shadow is not to use black, but to actually use a darker color or darker shade of of uh, you know what you currently have so in this case I, I take this this turquoise type blue and just darken it just a little bit to give us that that illusion of grab our game object and now we take our wood piece we take our rock and we take the other rock and you notice I just haphazardly placed them in the world now if I take all of these and I just drop them now into a game object let's call this fireplace group GRP. If I take this, I'm also going to just drop this in here. It doesn't matter. Click zero and zero. So we're going to do zero, zero. Whoa, there goes our piece. The other rock, same thing, zero, zero, zero. Huge benefit because now that our, our actual fireplace group is controlling the positioning now all I have to do is literally move the group and we have our fireplace in exactly where we need it to be same thing with our, our wood zero 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 perfect and this is gonna work really good with the wood piece because it actually has the best um, positioning and you'll see why and it's with this me changing this rotation area or our pivot point so same thing as the other ones duplicate move rotate these I like to just you know flip sometimes so that you're not seeing the same thing over and over duplicate move it to the other side what I don't like doing is making these you know like making a pattern out of these so I'm actually going to duplicate again and I'm going to move this one over here and by pattern I mean I don't want you to be able to say every other one is rock A every other one is rock um, is our regular rock and so I just take this move this over duplicate it you might want to put this one in between these two 